Now the next two kits I'm going to show you are the ruffled white ranunculus kit and the white ranunculus and twig kit, planter kit, sorry. Um, I'm going to show you the planter because it's exactly the same for the um, sort of the the white the ruffled white ranunculus kit. Um, and then we'll go through some care and tips um, on how to look after your white ranunculus. Um, and these are those, the beautiful white ranunculus. Um, they, we did them last year and you guys loved them, so we've brought them back again this year. They are a gorgeous, gorgeous plant, um, a bulb plant. Um, they are more high maintenance than, a, a, say, a mascara kit, um, but I'm going to show you exactly how to look after them. Um, so you should be able to get a really, you know, a decent four weeks out of them before they start to go um, towards the end of their season. And then I will show you how to look after those bulbs so that you can put them in the garden um, for next year. So, you know, you get them for the season, for the sort of the early spring season, and then when they die down, you can hopefully enjoy them next year. Um, so in your kits, as usual, you will have your gravel, compost, and your three different types of moss. In the planter kit, you will get this beautiful, large, sort of luxuriously sized scalloped planter. And then in the ruffled white ranunculus kit, you will get this gorgeous kind of ribbed, um, sort of delicate bobbly pot and it's little bobbly saucer um, to match, it's gorgeous. Um, and then of course, in your ranunculus, ruffled ranunculus kit, you'll get your one ranunculus plant. And then in your um, planter, you will get three. So, and then you'll get your birch twigs as well. So I will show you step by step how to plant them up and how to look after them. So we're gonna start with our gravel. So your gravel will come in a brown paper bag in your kit, so you just add it in, just on the bottom. It's just, you know, a, a, a sort of very thin layer of gravel. It just adds that little bit of drainage. Um, in the compost, you will have a lot of your control grit. Um, it's really important for ranunculus to be well sort of um, drained so they're not sort of sitting in water um, because that kills them off. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to add in a layer of compost just so that those roots are getting this lovely sort of fresh um, nutrient dense compost. Okay, so you're kind of looking about that much. It's exactly the same in your um, in your single kit. You put all your gravel in, and then you're sort of looking at putting about an inch of compost in there. You, and then you sort of just need to kind of put the plant in and just see where the level it takes you. Because you're looking to have it probably, the plant, about an inch below the rim of the pot. I'm then going to do a bit of a different technique for the um, planter in that I'm going to take the plants out. Now these plants whee, are pretty old. <laughs> They've, I've had them probably for about four weeks. So they are kind of, they're not on their last legs, but they're, you know, they've still got some, actually some really lovely fresh bulbs, uh, bulbs, buds coming. So they're not on their last legs. They may be, a couple of the heads might need deadheading um, soon. Anyway, taking the pot out and then I'm just going to put the pot in the planter and because you would have watered your um, ranunculus on arrival they'll be nice and sturdy and won't do what the other one's just done and crumble everywhere and then I'm going to put the plant pots in the planter like so okay and you would do the same technique in this one you would simply put your inch of compost Maybe you might be looking at maybe, no, probably an inch, yeah, inch of compost. And then you put, take your plant out and you put this plastic plant pot into your terracotta pot. Okay, and now the technique, now this is a Monty Don technique that I saw on Gardener's World a couple of years ago and I love it. You then add your compost into the gaps around the plant pots. So you're not going in the plant pots, although it doesn't matter if some does, you're going around them in the gaps. And so you're condensing that compost down. And you're probably looking to go near the top-ish of the plastic pot. 
doesn't need to go all the way. Okay. Okay. And then the last one, sort of gap. And then I will put a little bit of compost right in the middle. Okay, push that down and then just try and get some sort of in the middle of where the three pots sort of meet. So that is sort of what it would look like. So it's then all compressed down and then you simply, one at a time, take your plant pot out. I'm not going to show you what it looks like because it will all crumble. And then you add in your plant and it just sits perfectly in the hole. It's very satisfying. Okay, so taking out the plant pot, adding in your ranunculus. Gently pushing it down, and then the one at the back, gently taking the plant pot out, and then just simply pushing your ranunculus in. Now, the good thing that about having showing you ranunculus that's probably you know a bit older, let's go around, is that I can reassure you that when you find that the leaves are turning yellow around the base, that's completely normal. You just need to remove them. The reason they go yellow is sort of usually two reasons. One, they're probably not getting enough sunlight or they really don't like, they're a bit fussy sometimes, they don't like being their leaves touching sort of damp soil. Um, so if say you've watered it and you've got water on those leaves, they might throw their toys at the crown and be like, no, I'm not having that, I'm going yellow. So then you just take them off and then more leaves will grow in their place. So for example, this one is probably, I probably wouldn't remove that, um, you know, if it was at home, but to show you what I mean, it's, it's heading there. I'm just going to take that leaf off at the base, like so, okay? So you've just taken the leaf, leaf off. You've not sort of tampered with the stem or anything like that. And it just keeps the plant looking healthy and tidy and, you know, aesthetically lovely. Um, so that's all you need to do. So you just take off the yellow um, leaves as and when they appear. It's, it's normal. Okay, I'm going to add in the moss now. So you would have done the same thing for your uh, white ruffled kit, uh, ranunculus kit. So you add in your gravel, a a, an inch of compost, put, take your plant out of the pot, put the pot in on its own empty, add the compost around the plant pot, sort of pushing it all down, take that, comp uh, that plant pot out and pop the plant in. And that's as simple as it gets. Now, adding in your moss, so this is your flat moss, and then you've got your sphagnum moss and your bun moss. You've definitely got more bun mo uh, flat moss uh, because it is so much easier to use in these kits for this month. So I'm just going to break it up and just tuck it amongst the plants being kind of quite careful with those oversensitive leaves. Just be quite sort of delicate. You can keep a little bit of the compost on show if you want to. I think it adds a nice sort of texture and dimension in sort of a larger kit. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of the sphagnum. Again, this is just sort of a touch. So you're just kind of filling in little gaps with the sphagnum moss. And then I'll pop a little bit of the bun moss. I'll pop that in the middle there. Okay. And it's exactly the same with your um, ruffled ranunculus kit. So that's all the moss there. And then before I put the twigs in, I'm quickly going to show you how to deadhead um, your ranunculus. Okay, so. If you look here, so some of these are kind of, you know, they're heading... Some of the large ones are kind of heading into being a little bit sort of over. So I'm going to take 
them off, but I'm going to take one of the smaller ones off at the front so you can see. So being careful of the buds that you'll see on your pot on your plant, you follow the stem all the way down to the bottom of the of the um, stem floral stem that you want to deadhead. Take it all the way down to the base, get some scissors or secateurs, and you quite simply snip. And there we have it. That's just a, that's exactly how you deadhead. You don't deadhead up here. You deadhead right at the bottom. That means that the plant sort of um, energy is going into pushing these uh, buds out and flowering rather than kind of focusing on um, a ranunculus head that's sort of a bit spent and a bit tired and probably doesn't have much longer. Um, and this one that I've cut is probably absolutely fine, um, but I just wanted to show you sort of how you deadhead so that you have the confidence to do it. So your deadhead as they come along and then new buds will then bloom and then you'll deadhead those and then um, we will move on in a minute to how you then store that bulb for next year and put it in the garden. But let's do the twigs first. So in your kit you will have some birch twigs. Now these are just for aesthetics because the ranunculus are quite sturdy. They've got quite fleshy, sturdy stems. They don't need supporting. So you're just popping these in just to add a kind of different dimension, a bit of texture. And I just sort of break it down a little bit. You can have them as long or as short as you like. I like them to be as sort of around the height of the ranunculus. And it, they don't need water because they just dry, they're dried. Um, so they don't have to go right into the compost. Okay, one more in. Lovely, okay. So now let's go through some care in terms of uh, once these have all gone over and the leaves have kind of gone yellow and you know, okay, it's time, it's done its job, I've enjoyed it for the sort of, you know, the few weeks and then now it's time to cut it back and hopefully enjoy it next year. So the way to do that is to take off all of the flowers like I've just shown you. So you take, follow the, the floral down the stem and you cut it there. You leave all of the leaves on. Now, you allow those leaves to go really yellow, um, almost sort of brown. So you just leave it. So pop it somewhere, um, you know, that you, you know, put it in a utility room or somewhere where it's getting light. Don't put it in the dark um, because it's going to be using the, the light to kind of photosynthesize um, all those sort of nutrients back into the bulb. So pop it somewhere um, if it's not looking particularly pretty and um, put it somewhere else, but as long as it's not in the dark. Allow those um, leaves to go yellow and brown. As soon as that's happened, you can then gently dig that bulb up and remove the compost. So sort of let the compost dry out. You don't need to water it when you're doing this process. Let the uh, bulb dry, uh, let the compost dry out, lift the bulb, sort of dust off the compost, and then you can cut where the leaves have gone yellow and brown, sort of against the bulb. Now, that bulb then needs to be stored in sort of um, uh, a dark place. Now I personally would use, if you've got some moss and that moss has dried out, I would wrap that bulb in that dry moss, pop that bulb in one of the brown paper bags that your moss or your compost or your gravel came in, you know, sort of scrunch that up, put it somewhere dark and cool. Um, so you could put it in a kitchen cupboard or, um, you know, if you've got a greenhouse, it could go in a greenhouse, just somewhere sort of dark and cool, not sort of too, you know, um, not too much condensation, because what we're aiming for is for that bulb to go completely dormant over the winter. Then come spring, I would suggest probably end of March, early April, if we're planting in the garden, you can put that bulb back in the garden and hopefully in early, sort of late spring, early summer, you will get some ranunculus. Um, you can, if you want to, um, soak that bulb first before you put it in the ground, but put it in the ground, give it a good drink anyway, and then hope for the best. And you never know, they, they should come back. Um, but the main thing is sort of plant it in March um, slash early April, depending on the weather, uh, just needs to be 
when the frosts are finished um, because they are sensitive little souls. They don't like too much cold, so um, that is your best shot. In terms of care of the actual um, kit when in your home, it needs a lovely sunny spot um, to be kept relatively cool, not too hot. Um, but you know, come sort of March, April, we're all kind of like not really using our heating as much. We're not sort of cranked up to, you know, 20s. Um, hopefully so that will mean that it stands a much better chance of giving you the sort of the full um, few weeks of life. Um, so sunlight, keep the soil damp. Do not let your ranunculus dry out. The best thing to do with both kits actually is to soak the soil. So give it a drink from ideally from sort of in there, like not over the top and um, in there under the moss, make sure that soil is really nice and damp. The way you'll know that is if your the water comes into the soil, so you know it's gone all the way down to the root. Tip out any excess water in your saucers, that is crucial, um, doesn't like to sit in water. Um, so tip out any water in your excess water in your saucers and just keep that soil damp. Keep checking it, <clears throat> excuse me. When it sort of feels dry along around the top, but you know, you can, if you push your finger into the soil, you can still feel some dampness. That's perfect, it's a good time to just give it another drink. Um, it does not like overwatering. Oh, I feel like I'm confusing you by saying, don't let it dry out, but don't overwater. It's, it is one of those plants that is quite, you know, it needs attention. It's not uh, rocket science to look after an ranunculus indoors. Um, they do do really, really well. It's just a case of getting that happy medium of not letting it dry out, but don't let it sit in water at all. Um, you know, so you don't want sort of pools of water, but the horticultural grip that we have in the compost should help that. Um, and I believe that's about it. So yes, there we have it. So you have your white ranunculus and twig planter kit and your white ruffled ranunculus kit.